hello great people hi guys you know hope you guys are okay welcome back to my channel my subscribers thank you very much you're welcome you people you're highly welcome please subscribe to my channel just hit that subscribe button and join the family and please like my videos after watching i beg you guys please now there's an argument going on on twitter and i want us to talk about it ankle bracelet <laughs> guys please guys somebody posted it and said um what is your perception towards this like so many notions guys like so many notions people call it a lot of things different things from their place from religion culture a lot of notions concerning this and i want us to talk about this day. guys let me give you some of the notions i saw on twitter some are very funny some are reasonable my own perception about this is just a fashion because i like it on some legs yeah i like it on legs some fine fine legs like this one i'm seeing here it's very it looks fine or some but i don't know about some cultures actually i don't know what it means in cultures people say a lot of things about it guys you will give me your opinion about this if you don't mind these are some of the comments i saw on the post under the post this one says first this is har haram and haram in islam means forbidden okay let me continue since from the beginning of islam of course it's beautiful and attractive please stop ju justifying what we know that is haram of course we are in the free world that doesn't mean that doesn't mean we should bend the laws of the almighty god you saw that one and said no surprise though everything beautiful is haram <laughs> another person said symbol at attached with different meaning some view it as a symbol of lesbian why some see it as fashion well it's not haram in islam don't judge if you see someone wearing it as lesbian even though they use it but don't jump into conclusion without proof you are going to account for it <laughs> One other person has said, I don't even think our perception matters because it's a haram. That part of the body on itself is part of the female al-ora. Al-ora in Islam, like in Arabic, means intimate parts. Yes, of the human body must, according to Islam, be covered by clothing. Hey, <laughs> God of light. Another fellow now said, foolish enough to think it was a sign of lesbian. Lesbian until I saw my elderly married sister with it. Okay. Another person now said, whether it is haram or halal, the society al alive see it as haram and sign of lesbian. Okay. My wife will wear it in my house. But she can't go outside with it. Different notions, guys. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? A lot of notions about this. This other person has said, It is fashionable on women and religiously is not pro prohibited. It's only our cultural mindset that makes it look like it's, it's, it's bad. It's only prohibited when a lady flaunts it for everyone to see. Uh -uh. So if you don't want everybody to see, why do you wear it? What's the essence of wearing it? You not buy gold that puts on your ankle. I will not want anybody to see. So what's it there for? I don't understand this one. Another person has said, um, what is the essence of wearing it if not for people to see? Of course, I'm sure it's not to make it attractive to yourself. Of course, it's not to make it att att attractive to yourself. People has, have to see it now. You can't just buy gold and put there and nobody will not see it. Another person now say, na Allah should wear them. Okay. Well. The other person said, they said one leg indicates lesbianism and the other one indicates Allah show. <laughs> person, one said, I'm not said, who said all of you that keep spreading this nonsense will go prove it one day? <laughs> Guys, a lot of notions, a lot of opinions. Okay, uh, this one has said, uh, the bangis say them, yes, but it brings confusion among people, and it's not our culture. 
and the Islam anything that will bring confusion, it's better for you to distance yourself from it. People see it as a sign of lesbian, and if you don't want to be referred as, be referred as that, just leave it. You will not die. You will not die, but we'll not, we want to know the meaning. Guys, tell us. If you have an idea of what this means, like in your place, what do you think this means? Or what you've heard before? <laughs> My people, it was a very great argument, a very serious argument. People were even quoting Quran. <laughs> this one, this one, I just, uh, youth peace ambassador said, of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. And the one which loved by him, much loved by him, who said, I memorize from the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Leave that which makes you doubt, for that which does not make you doubt. Okay. Another person has said, um, it's a symbol of lesbianism to many Ariwa people, especially here in the northwestern Nigeria, but it is not Islamically haram. In some Arabian and Indian societies, it is a fashion. Honestly, it looks... And I don't know what he wrote here, but I think he said he would buy um, anklet for his future wife, even if heaven will fall. <laughs> My people, the argument is not here. <laughs> the serious one, I'm sure it's still, it's still going on on Twitter. People are giving them their opinion, what they think. But I want to hear from you guys, please. Give me your opinion in the comment section. What do you think about this anklet bracelet? What do you guys think about it? Tell me what you've read. Tell me what you know. Your faith, your culture. Let's know. Let's learn, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. I give my videos thumbs up. Please like my videos. Guys, like my videos. And if you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe. And help me to grow, guys. Thank you very much. And turn on your notifications. So you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. God bless you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.